Hey, Aaron, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Uh, I'm very good. I'm very, uh, I gotta say, dude, I'm very impressed with what I've seen. Uh, this, wow, uh, there's a real balance of faith, family, humanity, which is, I, I think, rare to see in a lot of mainstream tele television sci-fi. Was that a difficult sell to get to, to no, this is a, a, a character-driven story. Yeah, yeah. Um, thankfully, it wasn't, though that was always kind of how we kind of, you know, described it, you know, when when talking to the network about what this show was supposed to be and, and why, you know, I think we have such great, you know, visuals and all this science fiction, just awesomeness all around. But I think none of that, you know, that stuff really doesn't sing the way it, it, it can, unless you have those characters that, that bring you into that experience. So you're, you're really in there with them and you really feel the stakes. Uh, and, you know, I think if you can get that piece uh, working, then everything else really takes on a new kind of sheen, you know, and mm. you experience it on such a deeper level. And yeah, I, when I first went in the pitch it, I, you know, I'm like, in some ways, this is Little House in the Prairie, you know, this is about a family, you know, and it's, it's uh, you know, granted, it's a huge, crazy, you know, Little House in the Prairie, but uh, but that's kind of the the lens we're trying to view all of this insanity through. Well, it's also, I mean, I can't even imagine building this world with the help of someone like Ridley Scott, who's obviously alien and Prometheus. And I feel like there's DNA of those movies. I feel like this show could exist in those worlds. Was that... Okay. Could, there, there's no uh there's no literal connection uh mm -hmm. because i think this show has a different kind of version of what happened to earth and so on and so forth so it is different i think in the sense that i think thematically there are a lot of things that connect with her uh, with ridley's you know previous works and you know even you know some design elements you know some aspects of the androids definitely you know are, uh, are take a page from you know what ridley's done in alien and blade runner and, uh, you know, which I think is awesome, you know, but I think, but there's no direct uh, connection to those mythologies necessarily. Let's talk about mother and father. Uh, where did these characters come from and how, how what do they represent to you? Um, you know, I think part of where they came from, I, I, my experience is, you know, raising my three young sons and, you know, trying to think about all of the challenges inherent in that and trying to think about, okay, uh, trying to think in them, how would an Android deal with this, you know, and trying to deal with those issues through that thinking like an Android and, you know, is something I try to do quite a lot now. It's <laughs> an interesting sort of exercise. And, uh, but also just, I think, and there's also an element of, you know, what would the perfect mother and father be if you were to design them, you know, and create these Androids and create you know, these caregiving programs, you know, what elements would be essential to those programs. And, you know, and it's a lot of fun to, you know, I think especially in the, in the father character, uh, because he has a little bit less, you know, to deal with in terms of, you know, what, uh, what he truly is, you know, and just, you know, what would the true, what, what would the perfect father say in this situation, you know, and, and have that kind of perfect sense of, you know, experience and wisdom and, you know, so on and so forth. So I, things like that definitely played a, played a big part in it. Well, dude, we got to wrap it up. I will say, I mean, I'm six episodes in. That's what they sent us. I cannot wait for the rest. It's beautiful. Awesome. Oh, beautiful. that's so great to hear. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Cheers, man. Good talking to you. She's the most powerful weapon on this planet. You gotta destroy her. What do you want? I want my children to be safe.